Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of running Selenium automation scripts in headless mode? Let me answer. First of all, what exactly is this headless mode? Let me explain that first. So I'll compare two things here. I'll take one of the browser which supports running Selenium automation scripts in headless mode. That is Chrome browser. Okay. Two browsers will support that. One is Chrome browser. Other one is Firefox browser. They both support running of the automation scripts. That is Selenium automation scripts in headless mode. For example, I will take the Chrome browser and uh, here I'll mention it is a normal mode. Okay. It's not headless mode. It is a normal mode. I'll compare this normal mode of Chrome browser with browser with headless mode. Okay. This is headless mode of Chrome browser. What's the difference? When you run your Selenium automation scripts in normal mode of the Chrome browser, you can visually see. You can visually see how the scripts are getting executed. That means you can see how the browser is launching, how the browser is maximizing. You can visually see how the browser is opening the application you are testing, whatever the testing uh, that is there in that automation script, how the testing is being done. And finally, the browser getting closed. Everything you can see visually. Let me show you practically. For example, here I have some sample Selenium automation code. Don't worry what code this is I know. This is some sample automation code. Now let me run this code. This is normal Chrome browser I am running. Okay. In the normal Chrome browser I am running. Not in headless mode. Visually you can see what's happening on the screen. That is first it will open the browser. You will see visually the browser is getting opened. You see the browser, you can see that maximize open the application you are tested and we got the result also here. That's good. Okay. Visually we can see, but in headless mode, we cannot see in visible mode. The scripts are going to run in invisible mode in the background. Okay. In the invisible mode, in the background, the scripts are going to run. So how to convert this code into the invisible mode to so that is Chrome headless mode or invisible mode of running in the background for that we have to. Since it is Chrome driver, we have to create an object for Chrome options. Okay. Options is equal to new Chrome options. Okay. So I'll explain that if, uh, like, uh, actual question is uh, advantages and disadvantages. Before explaining the advantages and disadvantages, you need to know, first of all, what is headless and, uh, you know, and all those stuff, how to run practically in headless mode and all those stuff. Okay. That's the reason I'm explaining all this stuff. Chrome options dot add arguments and here write down hyphen hyphen headless. Okay, put a semicolon and copy this options. Apply this options to this Chrome driver. Now run the scripts. You will not see anything on the screen. When you run the scripts, you will not see the test will be done. The script will run, but in the background, in invisible mode, you cannot see the browser opening, maximizing. All those things, you will not see anything, okay? Directly, you will get the result here. You see, directly got the result without you visually seeing anything happening on the screen, okay? The script got run in the background. So that's what is running the scripts in the headless mode. But now, what is the advantage, advantages of running the scripts in headless mode? What are the disadvantages of running the scripts in headless mode? Coming to the advantages, the first one is faster execution of the scripts, okay? Why? When you run the scripts in, when you run the scripts in uh, headless mode, okay, the scripts will be way faster. Why? Because headless mode doesn't need to load any UI, right? No graphical user interface need to be loaded on the screen. So ultimately, the obviously the scripts will be faster because there is no nothing to load. Because there is nothing to load, the scripts will run very fast. Okay. So because in vision mode doesn't need any GUI, that GUI requires some, you know, uh, will slow down your process in normal mode the gui is uh the gui of the browser maximizing of the browser G everything gui is there that is not required in headless mode that's why the scripts are going to run faster because there is no need to load any gui while running the scripts second thing is when you are running the scripts okay when you are running the scripts you can do your work in your laptop okay other things you can do okay whatever the work you want to do you can do okay while you are while you are running the scripts, it can be any number of scripts without any interruptions. You can do your tasks on your machine. Okay. In the same machine, if you are doing work in the same machine, you are running the scripts, then no need to worry much. Okay. No need to worry much. The scripts will run 
in the background without interrupting you. But in the normal mode, every time that visual uh, browser will launch and it will interrupt your work. Okay, so these are the advantages. But what are the disadvantages of running the scripts in headless mode? So people go for uh, headless mode of running the Selenium automation script for faster execution. That's the main reason. Whereas disadvantages, disadvantages, visually we can't see anything. That's the only disadvantage. Okay, visually we can't see what's happening on the how the script is running. We cannot see visual because there is no visual GUI. So if, since the visual GUI is not there, you cannot see if any particular test is failing. Visually, you cannot confirm something because of this, the test is failing and all. You cannot visual, visually see the failures and all. Okay, failures in the test, you cannot see. So these are the disadvantages. Okay, advantages, disadvantages. Okay, so hope guys, uh, you got the answer for this question in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.